Oops, I'm hitting the wrong buttons. <laughs> Good morning, guys. How are you? It's Tamara Bennett from Southern Adornments Decor. I was getting my camera flip so you guys can actually like see things the way they're meant to be seen so things aren't backwards and whatnot. So um, let me know if you can see everything okay. <clears throat> How is everybody? Are y'all having a great day? So I found this little pumpkin truck cut out that I forgot I had and I thought it would be fun if we painted it um, for Halloween instead of the traditional just fall pumpkins. Good morning, Marina. Hi, Kathy and Debbie. How are you? I don't have a lot of time. I've only got about 30 minutes or so. So hopefully since this is small, it won't take me very long to paint. But um, I thought it would be fun if instead of painting it traditionally like fall with pumpkins, uh, we would paint it still with pumpkins, but instead make them like jack-o'-lanterns and make the truck look a little bit more Halloween. So this is a really small one. It's about an eight inch cutout. So um, this would be great to like sit on a tiered tray or to use as like a door hanger attachment. Um, if you don't know what a door hanger attachment is, it's kind of like, you know, the happy everything plates where you, um, it's like got an all around theme and then you can put different things on it for the seasons. That's kind of what door hanger attachments are like. <clears throat> you just got your order yesterday. Awesome, Sherry. Uh, hi, Ashley, welcome. So I'm thinking I'm gonna paint my truck probably purple because I feel like that's like a good solid Halloween color. <laughs> um, I have to find, let's see, we may have to paint it a base coat of one color of purple just to make sure it covers good because, um, hang on, I, there's a purple over here that I would rather use. Let me grab it. So I've got this purple. It's called Brilliant Purple and I think it will cover better than some of these others that I have. Good morning, Cheryl. <laughs> you love the little trucks? I do too. They never get old. Uh, Susan says she's wearing a shirt like mine today. This one was in my framed monogram box this month. So, and I cannot get this little protective seal off this paint. Sometimes I can just twist them right off, but this one is on good. It must have like gotten extra shrink wrapped to the bottle. Um, hello, Lily. Hi, Susan. Hello, Barbara. <clears throat> Whoa. <laughs> Did you see that? I was trying to shake this bottle of paint up and I didn't have a good grip on it. I tossed it across the table. <laughs> good morning, Michelle. So this color is <clears throat> Deco Art Americana Brilliant Purple. It's one of uh, a newer color of purple that I've picked up. I haven't used it a lot. <clears throat> I've got a frog in my throat this morning. Good morning, Lisa from Arkansas. Um, if you guys want to paint a little truck like this, I did put the link up in the video description for you guys. Um, and there's a couple different versions of this truck in our shop. So one of them has the words, it's fall y'all on it. And then another one um, is just blank. And it's kind of like this, like I drew this design on with chalk. So you can kind of like, you know, add your own design if you want to, or you can get the one that says it's fall y'all. Hang on, I'm thinking, I may go ahead and paint these little fender wheels purple too, but do some shading or something on them, or maybe like add a, a shade of darker purple to make them look different than the rest of the truck. <clears throat> but I'll have to redraw those on there in just a bit. Good morning, Brenda. From Cape Coral, Florida. My parents are down in Estero, Florida right now. That's not too far from Cape Coral. It's uh, between Fort Myers and Naples. Hi, Karen. Hello, Sharon. Y'all say hi as you come in. <laughs> so if you have not heard that door hanger hanging up behind me, we're gonna be teaching it November 1st in our um, upcoming Christmas cake door hanger workshop. We do these little workshops about once a quarter. We did one back in August and a lot of you guys participated. That one was double-sided. This one's not gonna be double-sided, but it does have that fun little <clears throat> tree cake design on it. <laughs> Susan says, you're clearing your throat like me today. Yeah, and I left my drink in the kitchen, so I don't have anything to drink. Um, but yeah, it's been constant. And of course I had COVID a few weeks ago and so I feel like I'm still trying to get over that, unfortunately. Okay, let's dry this little guy first, and then we'll put another coat of purple on it. Good morning, Wanda. Hi, Tracy. Um, hello, good morning. 
We're live on TikTok also. Did you water down your paint? No, but I did dip my brush in some water. <clears throat> Purple's one of those colors that it's hard to get it to cover really well. Uh, good morning, Desiree. Hello from Jacksonville, Florida. Kenzie's excited about the workshop. So yeah, let's talk about the workshop for just a second. If you want to sign up, um, shoot, I forgot to put the link up in the video description up above. I wonder if I could grab it. Uh, I, could, I might could grab it right here on my computer and drop it in the comments. I just realized I didn't, I didn't put that in there and that was my bad. Let me grab the link real quick for you guys. <coughs> it's constant. <coughs> Hi, Jasmine. Good morning, Nicole. You grew up in Naples. Your family lived there. Naples is beautiful. What kind of heat tool are you using? It's called a craft heat tool, um, and it's linked in my Amazon favorites if you need it, um, but it's really nice because it's nice and quiet, which I really love. Okay, here's the link. Let me go over here to our live. Make sure my computer's muted so I don't hear myself talking back at me. And I'm going to go drop it in the comments for you guys. Now, if you're watching on TikTok, the workshop is linked in the um, my profile. There we go. Now, it's in there. Uh, Kelly says, I can't wait to get back started since the Hurricane Ida. I've, it's been a struggle. Oh, goodness. I imagine. Good morning, Pam. <laughs> okay, so let's put a second coat of this brilliant purple on here. And I'll tell you a little bit more about the workshop. So for the workshop, if you are the kind of person who can't even draw a stick figure and you kind of like feel like, ah, I couldn't learn to paint because I can't draw. Well, guess what? Because we have these printable templates, um, you don't have to be able to draw. We give you a template. It looks like this. You print it out on your home printer. You tape it together. And then you use graphite paper to lay it on the wood. We're going to show you how to do all of that. Um, and then you don't have to draw a thing. You just have to paint inside the lines after you get the design transferred to the wood. So how many of you guys have participated in one of our workshops previously? Let me know in the comments what you thought about it, if you enjoyed it or whatnot. Um, so all you're going to need is an 18 inch wooden round. That's what this one is on. Um, and so you can get those from us in our shop. We've marked the price on those down to $12 each. Or you can get those at like Hobby Lobby or you might be able to find them at Michael's or some other places. Um, I had heard that Michael's was starting to get um, 18 inch pine wooden rounds um, that are quarter inch thick. So they're not the big like thick ones. Um, Deborah said, I loved it. I've made three of them. Wonderful. Pam loves them. So does Shannon. You've done three workshops, Shannon. Awesome. And then, of course, if you enjoyed the workshop, you'll be invited to join Painter's Clubhouse um, if you want to after the workshop's over. So if that's something you've been thinking about doing, you'll be invited uh, to do that. You've done the fall workshop, and it was great. No experience, and it was easy to follow along. I love that. Thank you for telling me that. Okay, we're going to let this little thing dry, and while it's drying, we're going to paint our pumpkins orange, and then we're going to put little jack-o'-lantern faces on the pumpkins. So this color here is Canyon Orange. I love using this one for pumpkins. It covers really nicely. By the way, if you guys need to buy any paint, I did put my DecoArt affiliate link up in the video description. You can shop directly on the DecoArt website. All of their stencils right now are 70% off. Um, and then their brushes, I think, are 30% off right now, which is a really great deal. Um... You're making a time lapse. Oh, that's fun. Jasmine did the double one recently. You did the Magnolia Welcome Challenge. That was a while back. Yeah. Uh, somebody over on TikTok, TikTok said, this will be my first one and I can't wait. And then Joyce said, where do we find the sign up for the workshop? It's in my profile. It's called the Christmas Cake uh, Door Hanger Workshop. And it's $10. You sign up. Um, we're going to give you a download to print out the template. You're going to print out the template. You're going to go grab a wooden round or maybe even cut your own if you're um, handy with a jigsaw or a scroll saw or some other cutting tool. Um, and then you'll just need paint and brushes. And we're going to give you a supply list and everything else that you'll need. Um, you like the letter one that we did that last, last spring? That was fun. Jasmine joined the Painters Clubhouse. Awesome, Jasmine. I hope you're enjoying it. Okay, I'm trying to find, 
Where's the gray I want? Here it is. It was in a different spot. So this is gray sky. And I'm going to use this on the little window of my truck. I'm going to switch to a smaller brush though. If I'm painting faster than normal today or talking fast, it's because I have an appointment at 11 o'clock central. So I've got to do this live quickly and then leave to go to that appointment. So we, we can't mess around today. I can't get stuck running my mouth and not painting, <laughs> which I have a tendency to do sometimes. When your hobby turned into a job, did you struggle to enjoy it at first? You burn your, uh, she said, I would burn. And in the past, I've done things for people and I struggle and enjoy it. Um, no, I have, I mean, like, I guess I have gone through seasons where I didn't feel like inspired to paint maybe. Um, but usually if I can take some sort of vacation or a trip or just something, or even just go shopping, something that gets me out of my house, out of my craft room and out like into nature or pu in public, um, I feel like I have, I'm like re-inspired. So if I go shopping at Hobby Lobby or something like that, I'll see all kinds of cute things and then I'm inspired to come home and create again. Or if I'm on vacation and I go to somewhere, um, it's, it's like I get a little break from it and then I come home and I'm right, re-energized again. You live in Christmas Tree Cake City? What? <laughs> what city is that, Cheryl? That sounds like fun. Uh, Kel Keely says, the sign behind you is gorgeous. Thank you. She's watching on TikTok. We were just talking about it. We're going to be teaching this one in an upcoming workshop, November 1st through the 5th. So if you want to learn how to paint it, go click the link in my profile. It's just $10 to sign up. You'll just have to grab a wooden round and some paints and brushes, and you can follow right along with us. We're going to give you a printable template that will allow you to trace the design on the wood, so you're not going to have freehand anything, okay? I keep saying that, but I know, like, the, the primary objection I hear from people a lot about not being able to paint is, well, I can't draw a stick figure. I just can't paint, and so that's why I keep saying that about you're not going to have to freehand anything because I think everybody worries about that, about, you know, you're going to have to be able to draw something or whatnot, and that's just not the case. We have these templates, and you can use the templates to recreate what I'm painting, so you don't have to draw anything. Because that used to be one of my hang-ups, too, is back when, um, before I had started painting, and before I even really got very good at drawing, I used to think, well, I can't create that one because I can't draw it. And back then, there was no such thing as templates, um, like, like printable door hanger templates. Uh, Chattanooga. Well, that's not that far from me. That sounds like fun. You're going to join us? Yay, Keely. Go click the link in the profile. I'm excited to hear you're going to be joining us for the workshop. How do you find out if your membership went through? Um, Sharon, you'll just need to email customer service. Info at southernadornmentsdecor.com. What kind of paint are you using? I'm using all Deco Art Americana paints. Um, I have the link to purchase these up in my profile. I'm a Deco Art, um, a Deco Art ambassador, if you will. Um, <laughs> you when you let's see, Tam oh that's so sweet. Lynn says Tamara will hold your hand throughout the entire workshop, guaranteed. You're so sweet. Yes, I will. I will hold your hand. I will walk you through it. It's not going to be as scary as you think. Right now. Um, a lot of you may be a little nervous because you're like, ah, I've tried doing stuff like this on my own before, but, you know, it just didn't work out. Well, did you have an instructor walking you through it step by step? We're not going to even do it all in one day, y'all. It's going to be spread out over a five-day period. So, you'll have time to get caught up if you get behind. You'll be able to ask questions, and you'll just be able to take your time with it and enjoy the project. Now, if you can't join us live November 1st through the 5th, you will have access to watch the videos again later. So, don't worry about that. You will get to watch them later. Okay, here's what we've got on our little truck so far. <laughs> the, to me, it looks kind of funny because we don't have the fender wheels painted darker. So, I'm going to see about mixing some of this paint in with my Brilliant Purple. It's a darker, deeper, darker purple. It's called Dioxazine Purple. So I'm gonna mix just a little bit of that in with my Brilliant Purple to make a darker shade. And I'm gonna use that on the fenders of this little truck. Let me check my time. I've still got about 15 minutes. 
Um, oh, Jasmine says you will learn a lot from just one workshop. That is the truth, y'all, because even in the Painter's Clubhouse, when I'm teaching you guys how to paint, it's different than what I'm doing here on Facebook Live and TikTok Live and stuff like that. Um, I'm like teaching you guys techniques and things that you can use over and over again on lots of projects. So even though we're working on one project, a lot of times you guys are going to be picking up all kinds of helpful little tips and things that you didn't know. And so it's more than just the one project that you're going to be learning. You'll be learning all kinds of stuff. Ooh, I like how this is looking. So we're taking this dark, darker purple, the dioxazine purple, and we mixed it with our brilliant purple. And now we're using it to paint the fenders of our truck, which are just gonna be slightly darker. That way they stand out. Look how cute. <laughs> um, how deep are the etch marks on the blank? Not deep at all, but you can barely feel them with your fingernail if you were to scratch your fingernail across them. Um, Sharon, this shirt is one of the ones that I get, I got in my framed monogram box or my framed t-shirt club this month. Um, so if you're interested in that, I can probably send you a link for that later. Um, or if you want to text me, actually, you know what? If you guys have not texted me, we are giving away a stencil this week and we're, we're picking a winner tomorrow. So if you want to win a mandala stencil, text stencil to my phone number. I put my phone number down in the, in, in the, um, what's it called? Video description. If you're watching on TikTok, I just spilled a bunch of stuff in the floor. If you're watching on TikTok, if somebody wants to type it in, I'll say it real slowly. <laughs> um, does anybody volunteer to type the phone number in for somebody? Okay. The number is, you ready? 270-207-5555. Nine oh nine one, and I'll repeat that just to make sure you got it all. Two seven zero two zero seven nine zero nine one. Text that number, and you'll be entered to win one of our stencils. That'll also get you on our um, notification list for when I'm going live. You'll be notified when I go live and stuff like that, so you don't miss it. Thank you, Callie. She typed it in the comments over here on Facebook. Can we enter once? Yeah, just once. Um, Maxine says, I'm enjoying learning, even though I haven't painted my double-sided door hanger yet. That's okay. Whew, I'm like sweating, y'all. Okay, we gotta, we gotta finish this door hanger. I wanna paint the little headlight yellow, so let me get a yellow out. This is called Banana Cream. It's a real nice light yellow, and I only need just a teeny amount of it, so I didn't even squeeze it in my egg carton. Just enough to color this little headlight right here. <laughs> Pam says, I just texted you stencil. Awesome, Pam. Thank you. And then, let's see. We need a color for the stems on our pumpkins. This one's called Honey Brown. We'll use it. What do we text? I have the number. Just text the word stencil if you want to. Or say, I want to win a stencil. Something about stencils. Text that to the number and you'll be entered to win. We're going to pick a winner tomorrow. Is Heidi going to start doing some door hangers? I think she's done a few. I don't think it's going to be like the primary thing she does from now on. But um, I think she has enjoyed doing a few here and there. Because she teaches you how to do a paint party. And you can do a paint party with canvas or door hangers or anything like that. Um, will the blank for... Yes, you can get the, um, the wooden round for our workshop at shopdoorhangers.com. After you sign up, there's going to be a supply list, and there will be a link to find that in our shop on that supply list also. I love this color. This is called Irish Moss. Look how bright and pretty that is. I used it to paint the little leaves on our pumpkin stems. Yeah, if you texted Hey BFF, that puts you in the, in the drawing also. That was from the other day when we did the live. So if you've already done that, you're good to go. I was just telling people today that um, maybe weren't, weren't live with us the other day so that they could get entered. Let me put one more coat on this little headlight. It's not looking bright enough for me. There we go. Thank you, April. Um, somebody just typed in question marks on TikTok. I don't know what you're asking about. Okay, let's, let's just try to finish some of this out with a paint pen because I think that would probably be quicker. And like I said, I only have about a little over five minutes before I have to leave. Um, you did that the other day. Okay, good. 
All right, so we're just gonna draw our little jack-o'-lantern faces on. I'm using a Posca paint pen. This is the three millimeter size. So it's, it's, like, a, a, it's like a tiny little fine point Sharpie. You know, that's kind of what it reminds me of. And so I can just draw my little jack-o'-lantern face on here. I'm freehanding it. Let's see, let's draw a little tooth coming down here. I don't know how to draw a jack-o'-lantern. Let's see, I don't know what I'm doing here, so let me just see if I can <laughs> just draw some teeth. And this is probably gonna be the silliest looking little jack-o'-lantern you've ever seen. <laughs> I should have just made my jack-o'-lantern have an O face because his teeth look all kinds of messed up. <laughs> oh well, we'll make the other one have, have like a ghost looking face. Kind of like triangles for eyes, but then like a, a surprise mouth. <laughs> His teeth look so funny. Uh, you love the Christmas tree cake. If you're watching on TikTok, we were talking about this earlier. Go sign up for that workshop. It's only $10. We're going to give you a printable template. I'll show you one more time. Uh, you print this out on your home computer. You tape, tape it together. And, we're, and you're gonna trace it on the design using graphite paper. We'll teach you how to do all of that. And then we'll teach you how to paint it. It's gonna be a guided experience November 1st through the 5th. If you can't participate live with us, you'll have the opportunity to watch those videos again later. So don't worry about it. But it's just $10 to sign up and we'll teach you how to paint this beautiful door hanger behind me. If you love uh, Little Debbie snack cakes, it's, it's, uh, it's, that's kind of what it was inspired by, so. All right, I'm just taking my paint pen. And I'm tracing our little window. I traced the bumpers. I'm gonna trace the headlight. And then let's see, I might also add like a little line down the back of the, the pickup truck bed and just add some little details here. Let's outline the fenders. Add some little details to the wheels. Just be artistic with this part. To me, this is the fun part because this is where we get to um, kind of add some personality. <clears throat> I'll show you guys up close here in a second what all I've done to it. Let's add like a little line for the front end of the vehicle and then the door. We'll add a little door handle right there. See, it's looking cute, it's coming together. Maybe add a little detail on the hood. Um, let's see. I don't know, we could do all kinds of things. We could put a ghost in the window. <laughs> Vicki says, this is where it comes alive. Exactly, let's get a, um, a white paint pen. So this is the three millimeter white paint pen and I'm just gonna add some little accents on the pumpkin's faces. And then um, maybe a little bit on our fender here, our bumper, a little bit on our wheels. Put some on our headlight, of course. A little bit on the hood. I'm rotating it around so I don't get my hand in any wet paint. Let me put a little detail in this window too, like a little zigzag. Put a little bit on the bed, the door handle. See how all those little pops of white kind of just made everything come alive? What size Posca pens do you use the most? Okay, so Monica, on um, Amazon, you can get a pack like this of six pens. I'm just making a mess today. You can get a pack of these of six pins and you get two of the big ones, which are seven millimeter, 
two of the medium, which are five millimeter, and two of the smallest, which are three millimeter. So on this project today, I only used the three millimeter, but this is a really small little truck. He's only eight inches long. So I had to use the smallest ones. On a large door hanger, sometimes I might use these seven millimeter, but the ones I probably use the most are these five millimeter ones. But if you were to buy these on Amazon, they come in a pack of six and you get six of these in all the sizes three white and three black. So that's probably your best deal. And I think they're about $26-ish. Um, so those are linked in my Amazon favorites. If you want to text me and ask for the link, I can probably drop it in a text message easier than I can right here. Um, but I think we're done with our little truck. Look how cute it is. So if you guys want to paint a little truck like this, you can get them in our shop at shopdoorhangers.com. I've got them linked in my profile or up in the video description. Um, just go to, the, this one's an older one, okay? So to find it in our shop, go to the search bar if you're just going to the shop randomly and looking for it. Use the menu bar and search for pumpkin truck and you'll find it. Now, for those of you on Facebook, I did direct link it so you'll be able to find it easier. Um, Joanne sells the Posca pens, good to know. She said, be sure and use a coupon. Hobby Lobby doesn't have coupons anymore, but they never did carry the Posca pens. Thank you, Megan. Um, so I think this would be really cute sitting on my little tiered tray in the living room. We could even put, or I mean in the living room, in the kitchen, we could even put like a cute little word or something right there, but I've run out of time today. I've got a chiropractor appointment here in a bit, so I gotta go, but thank y'all for painting with me. Go grab your deco art paint. If you don't have any, you can shop their website. Don't forget their stencils are 70% off. Brushes are 30% off. Um, Yes, yeah, so you can, I don't have a template for the Halloween design specifically, but there is a template for the truck if you want to get it, Priscilla. And then, of course, if you want to sign up for our Christmas cake door hanger workshop, go sign up for it. It's only $10. I did put the link right down here, and I pinned it for you guys. If you're watching on TikTok, it's linked to my profile. All right, you guys, I got to go. Y'all have a great day. Bye.